from paycheck to paycheck to living a life that she loves, doing what she loves as an artist, being fully supported and making an entire lifestyle around her artwork. I wanna share this amazing success story with you. I have talked about this client in the past in another video. This is someone that I've worked with for a while now and she just keeps leveling up, leveling up, and it is just wonderful to watch her success stories roll in. So stick with me, you're going to love this video. So welcome, my name is Rose, and welcome to The Rosie Life, where we help you free your mind and follow your heart so you live a life that you love. If you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me, or you'd like to join The Rosie Life course in community, you can go to rosielife.com, the information's below, and you can read all about it. All right, so as I mentioned, this client is, she's a longtime client with me, and she has worked on, on and off, like she comes in and out, and whenever she is wanting to level up yet again, she does so amazing every single time, and she's like, I want to keep going. And, and that is, we don't have an end, you guys. We don't have a limit to our happiness, our success, our joy, our wealth, or whatever it is that you desire. There is no limit and you can change as many times as you want to your course of your life you can literally every second change everything if you want to so this client I remember came to me she did go to graphic um, art school and to be a graphic designer and she did work with a record a label and in Nashville and so but when COVID happened she lost her job and she ended up moving back to Chicago and staying with her mom and she ended up having just to get a job she couldn't find work so she ended up working at a grocery store and she was not very happy <laughs> and she had lost her savings lost uh, her income and she was like I don't know what to do at this point so I remember very specifically with this client she could not afford even one half hour session with me and at that time and she would save all month long to work with me to do one hour a month because something in her told her to work with me because she just knew that she was able to do more and she was ready for more but she didn't know exactly how to do it or what to do so she did for i think about six six months she worked with me once a month and she slowly began to understand the power that was within her and i remember her first manifestation ever was really quick within uh, overnight she received five thousand dollars and she had no money and she was like i could not see that coming and she kept investing in her dream which is to be an artist she didn't want to work for anyone anymore she wanted to be able to sell her own artwork and support herself through her art and she the first thing she did was buy a printer for her to be able to print her artwork out and then she started doing other things and slowly she let go of that job at the grocery store she just began just going all in everything all her focus all her energy was focused on her artwork and so however she did that she was able to let go of the job she was able to let go of working for anybody and she began to sell her prints internationally. That was one of the things she desired was to be able to have an online store selling her artwork and selling it internationally in different stores, specifically one with Paris. And she was able to do that as well. However, working with her again recently, she said, I want more. And she says, I think I, I, think I need to, to be bigger. There's something greater within me. Do you see that? So that desire of her heart, she was following her heart and she knew that there was something greater because you all are greater, right? We, we just keep ourselves small. And, and no matter what the topic is, this is, this you can fit this manifestation story into anything that you are manifesting. There is no difference. So if you are telling yourself this is different than an SP story or than money story or career story, or health story, no, stop telling yourself that story. Nix that story right now and tell yourself that all manifestations are equal and they're equally easy. They're no, none of it is different. All right, so let's get started with this. So 
she was living paycheck to paycheck is an understatement but she was okay and now she's living a life she loves and i love saying that at the beginning of all my videos because that's oh my god that is like um, a dream right everyone wants to live a life that they love and that includes what you do for a living and everything else so her dream was to support herself through her art and i put check check she did it right but then she started she said seeing art she and then she wanted to see her art sell in stores internationally and check 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 i wrote okay because she accomplished that her art is selling in many different stores in chicago in different states and in different countries now and she said that feels great but she says i want more and do you see the desire is on purpose having a desire is God's way of communicating to you to continue express love, to expand, to keep going, to keep growing, because that is why we're here. We're here to want more, you guys. We're here to express more, not just to want it, but to express it. Wanting it is our clue of what is gonna, what is gonna happen next, just like this client. So then she saw her artwork being sold internationally, right? And then she said, I want to do something bigger that was the last the these were the the sessions that we started working together with her again she says i want something bigger but she wasn't really sure she had some ideas but she just felt the greatness right she felt that there was more so guess what a major uk brand hired her for a clothing brand to create artwork for, so for them so she was commissioned to create artwork for this major clothing brand in the uk and now her artwork is whatever she's she's just getting to going on this but when she does her artwork is going to be displayed on billboards on the sides of buses all on tv commercials in stores and different things <sighs> yeah you guys so when she started she was selling prints from a $30 print, that was, she was like, whoa, that's a little pricey, right? A $30 print to now being, to now being paid $12,000 commission work just to do some artwork for a clothing brand. She is doing what she loves. You can tell too, when you talk to her, it just emits from her. It, it just, it's emanating from her that she loves doing what she does she loves it right and I added this um, I added this quote here the scripture rather from Luke 645 right because it really ties all of this up beautifully out of the abundance of the heart the, uh, his mouth speaks and I'm like okay so out of his abundance of the heart his mouth speaks in other words your heart's desire is pounding with desires with wants with things that you want to experience and have and, and accomplish or whatever you have an abundance it's unlimited you have no limit on how much wanting and expressing there is for you right out of that abundance what she did she said i want something bigger that abundance of the heart was speaking to her was calling her her desire was calling it right out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks she declared she declared she claimed i want something bigger that was her mouth speaking out of the abundance of her heart because god is the heart that is where we're feeling that we want some desire that is god right there speaking through us we want to experience like i said in another video so when you have a desire you want something or you feel you might you're interpreting it as like oh i wish or i miss that person or i i wish i can have that or, or like good for them i you know but i don't have it kind of thing that's not that's lack you are filtering the desire of the heart as something that you don't have but that desire is God's communication to you as I said in that video is you can say like God's asking you like hey do you want this and it's a question the desire is a question being given to you do you want this and you're answering like oh yeah no I wish it's I don't No, instead say yes thank you I, I'm claiming that I'm that I I want bigger yes I want it she didn't even know what bigger looked like the bigger found her 
And her heart's desire is already known by her higher self because it is her. So she didn't need to know all the details because your higher self, I am already knows everything every desire of your heart so she wasn't even clear she had some ideas but she wasn't sure she just knew greatness and and the funny thing is is even since that last um call that i had with her she shared even more with me recently and this morning actually and she said that she is felt feeling inspired to reach out to different art uh, brokers, I believe. I'm probably using the wrong terminology, but basically it's a middleman that does uh, the scouting for you for jobs. And they you, you get paid to do the artwork and then they're the ones that represent you and um, negotiate all the contracts and all that stuff. She says, it's wonderful, Rose, because I'm like, why didn't I think of this sooner? Because I now I can just focus on doing the part that I love. I don't want to do the business part. I can just do the part that I love doing. Do you see that? was inspired action I shared with her. I said, that is inspired. That That is what you comes naturally out of you. She didn't think about it. She didn't analyze it. She didn't weigh the pros and cons out of it. Do you see, she just went ahead and she's like, you know what, this just feels right, it makes sense, I'm gonna do it. And she doesn't know what else. I said, you don't know what else is gonna come out of this. I said, you are just leveling up, leveling up, leveling up right before my eyes and I love watching it. So I intend that this video was inspiring and helpful for many of you for many different things. And I thank you again for liking the video and thank you for subscribing to The Rosy Life. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And like I always say, and I believe it from the bottom of the abundance of my heart, that you are all freaking amazing. Bye.